guys and welcome back to my channel as you can see we are extra pale today because today we're going to attempt a holiday inspired penny wise you know i couldn't do no holiday makeup without adding some creep to it I've already done my base with the LA Girl Pro Coverage. Mm. And uh, White AF. Sure. Makes me look pale. Anyways. I hope you guys are excited because I am. I've been wanting to do a Pennywise. But everybody did it for Halloween. So who wants to do that when everybody else does it? So today we're going to do a holiday inspired one. I'm see. super pumped. Where we go from here? Stay tuned. All right. Since we're going to do all kinds of detail today, I brought you guys in a little closer for the usual. Um, I think what we're going to do first and foremost is we're going to go straight in for the... Uh, and um, since we are just a uh, little attractive. Since we're doing holiday inspired, obviously we're not just going to be white AF and red as most clowns would be. We are going to be doing red and green all up in there too. So the two palettes that I will be using today on top of everything is the Crown Brush Fuego palette I will be referencing. There's the whole palette. If I use any greens, it'll be these in here. There's some reds in here too. And also to help reference, we've got the Carity Frost palette because y'all know we need to get some frost all up in there. So um, I'll be using primarily the Carity palette, but just to give you guys a good reference point with where we're going with everything today, um, those are the two palettes I'm using. I will make sure to link them down below. <clears throat> and if the, any of the shades have names, they will be popping up on the bottom of the screen for you guys. You know exactly what I'm using and which palettes I'm going in for first. So let's just hop right in. We're going to do a nice smoky eye because um, Pennywise is a creepy clown. Evil clown. Yes, yes. Yes, we are. So we want to make sure to make these blended um but very evilly we're gonna be evil i'm excited i haven't done anything like super creepy super evil um in a long time so i'm really excited i'm gonna go with um the fuego palette from crown brush um we're gonna go with the lighter green and we're gonna build it as we go um and get it darker and darker as we go and we'll intensify it but i'm going in with a blending crease brush and we're just going to blend it in. Tap it where we want it. Might help if I got a mirror so I can see what I'm doing, huh? Remember, we don't have to go with any specific greens. We are really just going to... This is holiday makeup. We want it... Super holiday. Any shade will do. But just make sure you pack it in. Before you do too much blending pack 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 we can always go in and blend it out after Bring this down when it's to the lower lash line. I want to make my eyes look a little bit bigger for evil. Evil. Alright, 
cream is nice and packed in. Blended. And I'm going to do go with a soft blending crease brush with a little bit darker green from that Fuego palette. Tea palette and I'm going to deepen up that crease even more with Dorothy which is kind of like an olivey green but she needs some deepening deep 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 but in I'm gonna blend it all together a little bit with a good clean blending brush. do because I just want to make it dark I'm gonna put a dab of concealer right here on the lid um just to make the black shadow stick a little bit better but I really want to make it a creepy um pennywise so we're gonna do a little bit more smoky eye but I want to make sure that black really sticks so I'm just gonna put a little bit on the lid I'm gonna blend it with my finger and then we're gonna go with a flat brush and put that black on and then we'll blend it out. back in with that blending brush and just help soften that line a little bit. We've already gone ahead and smoked it all out so it looks nice and dark 
and creepy. Rokey duck. We're not gonna do it all for you today, but you'll see it all come together. Mm -hmm. Our dog's brow pomade in a dark brown today. And I'm gonna be as precise as possible because, well, we did this super light foundation today and I just realized I don't have a concealer to clean this up. I could go in with my foundation and try to clean this up, but um, I don't know about that. It's a fierce brow. I'm getting kind of antsy about doing the lips. Doing the lips and doing his big old smile. So I think we're going to do that. I'm so excited that we got some new Lime Crime lippies in. Um, and we're going to use Lime Crime's, it's not their new, but mine. Lime Crime. There we go. Lime Crime's. It is called Red Hot. This is a metallic red lippy. It is perfect for the holidays. So cute. Who doesn't like metallic? I love all the different textures. I can't even tell y'all. So great for the holidays. Like I said. It will sparkle and glisten for y'all. If you guys are not familiar, I am a die-hard Lime Crime fan. fan. Die-hard. My favorite brand for liquid lips, hand down, hands down. I love their Unicorn Lipsticks um, and everything. I have one of their palettes. It is a poly palette. I love that as well. I got my first Diamond Crusher as well, so I'm going to start dabbling with those, but I promise you I'm going to get more and more of the products to test out to give you a full review on everything they have going on, um, but I love Lab Crime. Always have. I've met Doe Deer, um, and the message behind the company is amazing, um, so I do support the company as a whole and everything that they stand for, so... That's my little spiel on them. <laughs> but I love Lime Crime. Unicorn power, like, all day long. I swear. <laughs> love them. head and applied my lips just because the base look when you do his big smile goes up goes up out a smidge and then back up in so um <clears throat> I want to have my lips down even though they don't look symmetrical it's driving me crazy anyways what I wanted to do instead of his original red smile his original red lines is we're going to do my best to do striped lines yep you heard it 
striped lines. We're going to start with a bright green. We're going to do it all the way up and then we're going to stripe in the red. I'm going to use my Wolf Face Art and FX body paints that I got. Um, they are water activated, super easy to use. Um, all depends on how much water you put on them. Um, we're going to use the body paints just to um, put the line in and then I'm going to start with the green and I'm going to add the red. It all depends on, um, yeah. I'm going to start with the lighter color and then add the darker one because once we put the dark down, it's going to be hard to add the lighter one. Um, so that's how we're going to start with everything today. Um, they're water activated, so it all depends on how much water you add with how opaque they're going to be and the consistency of them with how easy or difficult they are going to be to use. So too much water is going to make them super runny and drip everywhere and make the color super see-through. If you don't want them too see-through, you want them opaque, super solid, um, less water, but then they are so thick. So you've got to be a little bit careful with that. So I always keep not only my client kit, but also in my personal kit, a spray bottle full of water. You can use this for a multitude of reasons, but we always keep it around. I'm going to put a couple a spray or two into my little pans for the color. Let it soak in to it all. Or you can keep around a little glass of water. Sometimes I do that to help wash my brushes out or add water as I need to. Whatever works for you works for me. But I want to make sure that we make Pennywise a little glam, but a little creepy. I don't want to make this too pretty. We're split personality. We don't get pretty all the time. We can't. It's not my genetics. I'm just putting that out there. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna put it out there. I can't do it all the time. I just, I just can't. All right, so before I get too excited about all this paint, because I'm already over here mixing things, I'm gonna pull out, I'm gonna map pencil. out my line just a little bit so I know where I'm going. Um, because if you don't know where you're going, you tend to get uneven, you get lost where you're going, and then your lines don't turn out the way you want them to, and we don't want to do that. The more you plan out your look, the more chances you have for su success. As you guys have seen in my other videos when I'm doing a big look, especially like my skull and um, my pop art zombie, I go with a white pencil beforehand and I will map out where I want certain pieces to go. Even though we have a lot of our base down already, I'm gonna go with a pencil I'm going to smile like Pennywise or how I want to smile for these photos. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to draw my line to go up and up to the top. I'm not doing an exact replica. Keep that in mind when I'm doing this. Same goes for you. If you're going to recreate this look or put your own twist on Pennywise, you can do this smile however you want to. You can put the lines however you want to. Keep that in mind. This is your creation. This is your take on Pennywise. This is your artistic creation. Keep that in mind. There's no need to do an exact replica. Those are difficult. And the nice thing about art is you can take it however you want to. I'm putting this split twist on it. You can do the same as well. Okay, enough preaching. Here we go. I also have a picture for reference, um, just to kind of help me with the basics while I'm doing this look. Um, I, just, I just like to get an overall idea of where things are at, or I have pictures for reference to pull and some ideas in or an idea or a piece that I really liked take and I want to put my own twist on it um just because sometimes if I jot notes down it doesn't trigger my memory as much as a picture would I'm a very very visual person I need pictures this doesn't always help me pictures do though all right let's go ahead and do these lines Yee! I'm just going with any pencil that you're comfortable with right now I'm using one of um Max pencils and boldly bare. I just use one I know it's going to work real smooth um, and it's, it's kind of neutral. You don't want to do anything crazy. If I had a green one, I would just use a green one because I know I'm going in with green body paint. But I don't have a green. Surprisingly. Y'all know me. I got like every color.
wanted to make it on the thicker side just because I do want to do more of a candy cane stripe with this one. So I need to be able to go in there and add in that red and then um, I'm going to add some details to, details to that later. So. Remember, slow and steady wins, wins the race when you are doing details. So, keep that in mind when you're moving forward with any type of detail. Let's go. There's one line. <clears throat> now we're going to go in with red. Spraying it up. Spraying it up, girl. Remember, we want to make it look like a candy cane. So we're going to go in slow, little lines, and on an angle. Don't goof this up. Because then you got to erase everything. So there you go. We got the stripes. It doesn't really look like a candy cane. I like it though. Looks creepy. Um. So now I'm looking at the cheeks in my face. And I'm like, mm, we need a little bit of contour, but I don't want to use my regular contour because it's too warm um, for the face. So I'm kind of looking at this Carrie C Frost palette. You know I me. Mean? Always being creative. So I'm just going to take an angle brush. I think I'm going to dabble into Boo, um, which is a shimmered gray, which I think will just be 
good for the look. Ooh. Wait, this brush had some brown in it. <laughs> Thought it was a clean brush. I guess not. I do like the gray in it though, and the brown does help. So whatever. <laughs> and I think I need because he's got very defined smile lines right here we need to deepen them just a smidge just a smidge gonna pull out some red or green glitter but I think this calls for black glitter I wanted to add glam to this I don't want it to be matte and like blah, blah, blah. so we're adding things as we go there's gonna be glitter up in here because y'all know me anyways I pulled out red and green glitter thinking hmm, we're gonna put some glitter on the eyes but no this is a smoky eye I'm looking at, oh I went black on the eye so we're gonna put some glitter from Glitter Attic is called Gunmetal. It is a gray, super sparkly, shimmery um, glitter. I love it. It is perfect for that, like, um, smoky eye when you're going out. Um, it really reminds me of, like, a New Year's Eve look. You do that super smoky, super smoky, glammed up eye with the nude glossy lip, dressed to the nines, like, this super straight hair. That's what it reminds me of every time I see it. Um, so that's what we're going to do right now. Just getting out some glitter glue from NYX. We're going to do this right over the lid where I have that um, the black shadow from the Carrot Tea palette. Just to add something to it. Because y'all know me. I haven't been using no glitter and I will love and miss my glitter. Let's see what 